In this video, we will be solving part C and part D of this question. Your part C says if Vanna has 16 women at her party and more men than women, and if she thinks the party is exactly as good as having 10 men and 10 women, how many men does she have at the party? And if Vanna has 16 women at her party and more women than men, and if she thinks the party is exactly as good as having 10 men and 10 women, how many men does she have at the party? So this question has two subparts to it and we will solve them one by one. Before jumping to the solution of the question, let's first figure out what all information we have and what is the question exactly asking from us. So we know that the utility of Vanna is the utility function of x and y, which is of the form minimum of 2x minus y comma 2y minus x where x is the number of women at her party and y is the number of men at her party now the first sub part says that she is having 16 women at her party so this becomes 16 and more men than women that means your Men are more than women, which translates that y is greater than x. Now, what happens in terms of utility? In terms of utility, this scenario translates into a utility function where your u of x comma y will now be 2x minus y. Because now Vanna is having more men than women at her party. And if that is the scenario, this utility function will take the form of 2x minus y, which we learnt in your part A. Further, the question says, if she thinks the party is exactly as good as having 10 men and 10 women, how many men does she have at the party? We know so that she is having 16 women at her party and number of and. Uh, men are more than women with this scenario we know that the utility function is taking the form of 2x minus y also she is saying that with 16 women and more men than women her party would be exactly as good as having 10 men and 10 women that means the utility in this scenario would be exactly equal to the utility if she is having 10 women and 10 men at her party why i have taken equal to because it is saying that it is exactly as good as which means the utility she is getting from having 16 women and more men than women at her party should be equal to the utility she is getting from 10 men and 10 women now that means the utility she is getting from 16 women and more men than women at her party which is this should be exactly equal to the utility she is getting from 10 men and 10 women at her party. Also from part A, we know that the utility of 10, 10 is equal to 10. So now all you have to do is just equate 2x minus y equal to 10 where we know the value of x to be 16 and we are supposed to calculate the value of y or the number of men. Let that number of men be y dash. Now this entire expression becomes equal to 10. That would be 32 minus 10 is equal to y dash. Or your y dash is equal to 22. Which means if Vanna is having 16 women at her party and more men than women. And if she thinks the party is exactly as good as having 10 men and 10 women at her party. She needs to have 22 men at her party. So the answer to this question is 22 men. And you can also verify that here your men are 22 and women are 16. So clearly your men are greater than women. This is just a way of cross checking your answer in case you did any mathematical errors. Let's now move on to this next sub part which says if Vanna has 16 women at her party. Again, let's write down what all information we have the, where they are saying that if Vanna has 16 women, that means your X is 16 at her party and more women than men. That is your women are greater than men, which translates into a scenario where X is greater than why in terms of utility this means that your utility function will now be of the form 2y minus x instead of 2x minus y and she thinks that the party is exactly as good as having 10 men and 10 women again we are reaching the same step here which means that the utility she is getting 
from having ten men and ten women should be equal to two y minus x or this. Also, we know that this is equal to ten. That means your two y minus x is equal to ten, and we have to calculate the value of y. In this scenario, let's denote the desired number of men by y star. That means. Now your two y star minus x here your x is sixteen is equal to ten. So solving this we will get that your y star is equal to thirteen. That means if Anna is having sixteen women at her party and more women than men, she needs to have thirteen men at her party. So the answer in this question is thirteen. And you can also check that here your women were sixteen and men are thirteen and. Obviously, there are more women than men. See, the question might seem complex at first, but just try and break it down into sub parts. What all information do you have, and how you can break it down, and what the question is asking. Just keep on noting the points given, and you will be easily able to crack any question. Let's move on to the next part, which says Vanna's indifference curve are shaped like. What letter of the alphabet? In part A, we were asked to use the pens to shade in the area on the graph that represents all the combination that Vanna likes at least as well as ten comma ten, which gave us the graph as this. That here your grey shaded region gives us all the combination that Vanna likes at least as well as ten comma ten. Which means if we consider the red swiggly line here, then we will be able to get our indifference curve, which gives us the utility of ten. And thus, doing that, we will be able to get the graph as this. So this is your indifference curve for your Vanna, and clearly this looks like your letter V. So the answer is V. So that was all for this question.